What is medical support hypnotherapy? I'm Ann Nygren Doherty, medical support and clinical hypnotherapist. Simply put, medical support hypnotherapy is a complement to your existing medical care. And whenever possible, I work with doctors to make sure my support is both accurate and effective. You've probably heard that hypnosis can be used to help you quit smoking or lose weight. And both are a kind of medical support. But, in fact, hypnotherapy can be creatively applied to almost any medical situation. It does two things. First, it reprograms subconscious beliefs and psycho-emotional patterns that contribute to health situations. And second, it programs positive beliefs and habits that support medical interventions or protocols. So hypnotherapy is used for help adhering to specific diet or exercise plans, health giving changes in behavior, and preparing for and recovering from surgery or chemotherapy. Allow me to use myself as an example. I have had rheumatoid arthritis for 35 years. About eight years into my disease process, I had an experience which showed me anger contributed to my flare-ups. My then four-year-old son and I had flown to Northern California to visit my aging parents. My dad, stressed with taking care of my ailing mom, did something silly without thinking. After I had put our yummy dinner in the oven, he randomly went over and pulled the self-cleaning handle. He had no idea what it was for. He just felt like pulling it. And as a result, he turned our yummy dinner into tiny little black burnt golf balls. I was really angry, but because I had sympathy for his situation, with my mom being sick and his not knowing how to cook and not even knowing how his own kitchen worked, I didn't share my anger. I stuffed it. And as a result, I flared up. The next day, I couldn't walk, which was a scary thing for my son to see. And that's when I realized that anger contributed to my condition. And if I could alter my perceptions of my aging parents, for example, and not get angry in the first place, I would have fewer flare-ups and be a better mom. In fact, after I reprogrammed my beliefs and acquired new habits, which included exercise and eating habits, I enjoyed a 14-year remission. I would never say that hypnotherapy is a replacement for medical treatment, because it isn't. I've seen a rheumatologist regularly for 35 years. But by reprogramming the subconscious, hypnosis can help decrease the number of factors at play in your disease process. It can help you perceive life's challenges with optimism, joy, and gratitude. And that all by itself can improve symptoms and often decrease the need for drugs. Another very recent example is of a client who suffered with IBS on a daily basis for the past three years. He was told by several doctors that all of his test results were perfect and his problem was psychological. He was a particularly motivated client who wanted to participate in life and it took just six sessions to discover and reprogram the heart of his issue and implement a plan. At the time of this video, his symptoms have reduced to about once a month, and if they reappear, he knows how to handle them himself. Another example from my own life. In December 2020, I had a freak accident that resulted in my being airlifted from the ER in Santa Fe where I live to a hospital in Colorado Springs, a process that took 10 hours as seven regional hospitals turned down my case due to COVID staff shortages. I could barely breathe. I had indescribable pain that pain medicines could not touch. And I was septic, so I knew that I could die. While I waited, and while I was in the plane and in the ambulances, so for about eight of the 10 hours, I did self-hypnosis, a protocol for pain that required me to imagine I was in a restful place. I chose a beach in Hawaii. 
When I finally met with the surgeon, he said he didn't believe the diagnosis because I was so calm and upbeat. He ordered more tests, after which he told me that though I was strong, there was a chance I might die in surgery. Still calm, I told him I'd forgive him if things didn't work out, but that he should think positive thoughts and encourage his staff to say only positive things in front of me. Then I texted one of my colleagues and asked her to create a recording for me to use in my recovery. We texted back and forth, getting the details right, and when I woke up in the ICU, my husband had the tape for me to listen to. I used this for two weeks for pain management and to keep my attitude relaxed and happy. Then I used more hypnosis to help me patiently regain weight and rebuild my body. Throughout the process, my doctors were amazed by the results. And what's more amazing to me is that my memories of that fateful day are of me on a beach with a hole in my stomach where the pain used to be. So you see, medical support hypnotherapy is a useful tool that has many applications. And in some situations, it's, it's a tool that can help save lives. I believe it belongs in every serious patient's arsenal because the subconscious blocks to healing are as unique as fingerprints. Even fear of death is unique. Am I afraid of dying because I haven't fulfilled my life's purpose? Am I afraid of leaving loved ones uncared for? Whatever the reason, if you're experiencing fear so intense that it worsens symptoms or postpones or prolongs necessary action, it only makes your medical condition worse. Depending on a client's needs, medical support hypnotherapy requires between three and 10 sessions. In working with you, I will do what's required for success. That includes interacting with your doctors if necessary to make sure I understand your condition thoroughly and my suggestions reflect the recommended strategies and protocols. And that's how to use hypnotherapy for medical support.